this is Duke University. I'm Cynthia Tidor. I'm a recently minted PhD student at Duke University and I study visually guided behaviors in jumping spiders. So a key aspect of a jumping spider's survival and reproduction is to know what is in front of it. If it comes across another spider, is that a potential mate that I might want to court and mate with? Hey baby, check out these pedipalps. Or is it a male that I want to chase away? Check out these guns, you don't want to mess with me. These decisions are really important because if you misidentify another spider as a female that's not actually a female of your same species, if you approach her with your arms outstretched, flicking your legs around, you're opening yourself up to attack. Hey little guy, I'm gonna eat you for dinner. To test how males discriminate male from female and same species from other species, I showed them a variety of computer animated spiders on a little computer screen. We found that males were more likely to respond to dark things like males with a threat display and light things with a courtship display. In the presence of female pheromones, males were more likely to court a variety of stimuli. This is a really important question to be looking at because we don't really understand how these spiders are able to make sense of who's who in natural environments. Another reason I think this is really interesting is because it suggests that object recognition is really difficult. If you've ever used facial recognition software to say unlock your phone or something, you know that it doesn't work very well. And maybe by looking at how spiders and other small-brained animals recognize objects, we can gain some insight into how we could program artificial intelligences to do the same. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.